Hey everyone, this is SamFan and welcome back to the 2K Lab channel. Today we'll be looking at one of the best defensive badges on NBA 2K22. So in this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into ankle braces as a lot of you have asked us in the comment section. So by 2K's definition, the badge helps you reduce the chances of getting crossed over. But what it really does in game is that it helps you from getting your ankles broken by the ankle breaker badge and it also keeps you from getting stunted in the animations by the tight handles badge. So essentially this makes ankle braces pretty useful because it is the counter against those two playmaking badges. So let's take a look into the numbers of this badge and you can see the attributes needed for each tier at 60, 73, 82 and 91. So let's begin by seeing how ankle braces does against tight handles. So in this sequence, you will see a defender with no ankle braces badge with 91 perimeter defense versus the ball handler who has 91 ball handle with Hall of Fame tight handles. And with no ankle braces badge, the defender will end up getting stunned 16.67% of the time by Hall of Fame tight handles. As you can see here, Jimmy Butler is just getting stunted pretty consistently and it's Pretty hard to defend if that's what's happening to you. So if you upgrade the badge to uh, the ankle braces badge to bronze and versus the same Hall of Fame tight handle kind of setup, the chance will decrease to 10.67%. So it's a pretty large 6% drop. And you can see because of that, with the bronze ankle badge now on Jimmy, he only got stunned twice versus 20 chain Hall of Fame tight handles dribbles in the uh, behind the back turbo animation, which is the deadliest tight handle trigger. And that's pretty consistent with bronze, much better, right? 10.67%. The improvement you get from the silver ankle braces badge is not that great. You will go from 10.67% to 9.33. So it's not excellent, but at gold though, you will get it to 7.33% chance. So that's a very significant drop off from uh, no badge. And here you can see Jimmy only got stunned once versus 15 chained Hall of Fame tight handle dribbles. So gold is a pretty ideal level on ankle braces versus tight handles, even when it's Hall of Fame, you can tell you get stunned eventually, but it's much less consistent. If you get the ankle braces all the way to Hall of Fame versus Hall of Fame tight handles, the chance will become 6.67%. So that's a huge jump from no badge, but not that big from gold. So overall, our recommended level for ankle braces, especially versus tight handles, we would say get it on gold. And definitely not Hall of Fame because the decrease is so little, but gold is definitely worth it. But now let's take a look at how ankle braces does against ankle breaker. So in this instance, you're seeing the defender with no batch, 91 perimeter defense versus gold ankle breaker and quick first step. And the handler has a 90 ball handle. And when the setup is like this, there's a 20% chance of the no badge, no ankle braces defender getting his ankles broken. So you can see that's pretty consistent and damaging on your end. But if you get your ankle braces to at least the bronze level versus the same gold ankle breaker and quick first step setup, now the chance is only 15%. So that's a bit better. And if you get your ankle braces to silver versus the same handling setup, the chance is now 11%. So that's pretty significant. That's like a 9% difference. So that's big. And getting it to gold will push that chance to a 9%. So it's a almost 11% better than no badge. And Hall of Fame, once again, is a little bit disappointing compared to gold. It's only 8%, so you only get 1% more than gold. So Hall of Fame really isn't worth it, especially when it's ankle braces versus ankle breaker. So overall, if you look at ankle braces and how it does against both tight handles and ankle breaker, we would say the sweet spot is definitely versus gold. Silver is very good when it comes to ankle breaker, but for tight handles, it isn't. But for both, gold is excellent. Hall of Fame is definitely not worth it because it's such little increase against both aspects, but you there's way more badge points, right? So definitely get gold. So if you enjoyed this video, please add us a like and a mixture you do come out on Wednesday, October 20th, 7 p.m. Eastern for our Wolves Lockdown stream. So we hope to see you guys there. As always, thanks for coming by and we look forward to speak to all of you again very soon.